जर्नी होती है जैसे हर स्टार की होती है और आरजे पब्लिक फिगर है हर आरजे पब्लिक फिगर आज के दिन में देयर फैंस देयर फॉलोअर्स तो हम स्टार्ट से स्टार्ट करते हैं आप कैसे आरजे बने क्या सोचती व्हाट्स द थिंकिंग बिहाइंड बिकमिंग एन आरजे ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाय दिस इज आरजे जीनिया फ्रॉम फीवर 104 एफएम Uh, as we call our station the dada of entertainment and i'm from kolkata city of joy and uh, so yes um, i was in my college and i was in my first year and i've always been very um, active actually super active in co curricular activities and stuff uh, but it, during my college days uh, there was this one uh, fest i think which was uh, happening and one of the judges uh, was from uh, a very uh esteemed organization one of the best chat video channels i'm not taking the name because right now it's our competition so i can't take the name of the organization so he came and you know he just he just told me that you know why don't you uh come for an audition and um, and i was studying my i was doing my english honors uh graduation so i was in my first year and the college i studied uh, you know they had a very strict uh, uh attendance and disciplinary so uh, i was skeptical ki jao ya nahi jao and all that but then i thought that okay let me just give it a shot you know uh, i went for the audition and uh, it 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 didn't stop it went on because uh, mere ko bola gaya tha ki aapko fir se aana padega aur ek uh, level of interview ke liye and oh i said okay great i qualified in the first round so that made me like really happy second din maine jab gaya and i saw many more contestants uh, you know competing for the same profile rj uh, fir us us din bhi mere ko bola gaya ki you know there is another level of interview you have to crack and uh, will you be interested i said okay why not so you know with time mere confidence badhti gayi and i thought that i'm like maybe i'm good where well, which is i'm getting qualified so it this entire audition went on for a month आजकल उतना ज्यादा उतना uh, इतना लॉन्ग uh, प्रोसेस होता नहीं है बट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट 2006 ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 14 इयर्स नाउ या सो दैट वाज माय फर्स्ट जॉब एंड देन आफ्टर अ मंथ व्हेन आई क्वालिफाइड ऑल माय वॉइस ओवर टेस्ट माय मॉड्यूलेशन माय एडिक्शन माय स्पॉन्टेनिटी माय क्रिएटिव राइटिंग एंड व्हेन दे फाइनली सेड दैट okay you are on on board and of course there was no looking back i had to uh, take up that uh, job even though my mom was like are yaar apna padhai khatam karo pehle graduation and english honors and that too from this college where this so strict so you can't be like doing your job now mm-hmm. but then uh, yeah that's that's how i landed up uh, with this organization my first job so uh, you are from uh... Kolkata. So, how considering the popularity that you have, the people you meet, the social life, it's a big city. It's not like a small center. So, uh, what sense of responsibility or pressure do you feel sometimes being an RJ, being a public figure? Um, that's a very intelligent question because uh, I must say that yes, I think with time, you know, uh, we. with age of course we go grow wise and with time we understand that there is a responsibility because you know when you are a public figure and when you're catering to so many people there you're talking to the entire city mm. and if you go haywire if you go like one word even or one opinion uh, that you might have uh, can affect one person can influence uh, five more people so there comes the responsibility i mean you mm-hmm. cannot afford to uh, go wrong with an opinion or um, you cannot afford to be irrespons- irresponsible on air uh, because um, 
because there are people who really follow us you know and by follow by following i mean um they listen to us and if i say something uh, that you know ye ye aapko karna chahiye ya aapka aaj mood kharab hai aap ye kar lo ji ya you know during this difficult time you you need to have lukewarm water a little dash of lemon so these are very small petty things but they do because it's a very heart to heart connection that mm-hmm. we have it's not that you know mai gyan de rahi hu on air but they consider us to be a girl next door a person who who is a who is a public figure but also a friend so that equation na aur kisi ke sath hai nahi wo radio jockey ke sath aur listener ke sath bahut ye bahut bonding jo hai wo bahut you know very strong so so there comes the responsibility with it right right so uh, as you said that you joined our radio in 2004 So now it's almost uh, 2006. So six, sorry. So to yeah, uh, yeah. almost 14 years now. Yeah. So that time when you joined, the RJ was more of a listening kind of thing, right? But we have seen in the last five years it evolved. Like it has become more of social platforms, Insta profile, Facebook profiles. So do you? Yeah. Tell me about it. <laughs> you just yeah, you hit on the right chord. Um, कुछ ऐसा है कि सिंस वी बिलोंग टू दैट इरा ऑलमोस्ट लाइक 2006 इट वाज मोर ऑन ओनली ऑन रेडियो ओनली कंसंट्रेटिंग ऑन एयर बट यस थिंग्स हैव चेंज एंड थिंग्स आर सपोज टू गेट इवॉल्व्ड एंड वी हैव टू यू नो बी अपडेटेड इन ऑर्डर टू गो विद द टाइम विद द फ्लो विद द पीपल सो यस of course uh, we are also on social media now and there is a lot of pressure dude let me tell you there is a lot of pressure to be like really active on social media ye post karo wo post karo um, connection badhao uh, followers badhao mani ye ye jo pressure hai wo tha nahi we were in a very relaxed <laughs> state mm, right. back then but um, yes not that i i would not say not that i'm in, not enjoying at all i am enjoying but you know as a person uh, i am not a very active person on social media and uh, i'm a very uh, ye jo hai na ki radio jockey matlab ye sara din bug bug karti hai wo wo it's a myth ha huh? it's a absolute rubbish thing i i am not a very uh, extrovert person so right uh, yeah but then yes i i do post i do put up my pictures i do my videos and stuff uh, because i think that that there also is a responsibility uh, if i have to be connected with my followers and my friends out there right so is has the evolution helped you in a sense or is it put up uh, okay now i have to put the photos as well not put videos also create new content as well or it adds to the burden of already working in a very hectic environment in being an rj no it helps in the sense i would say that it helps in the creative process mm. um as in you know you 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 are um you are always in a state where you have to think and uh, think about what to what uh, kind of content you want to put uh, there are fantastic content which is being put up by uh, rjs from all across the world Yeah. uh also like from here like india there the national level arguments um but uh, yes there this there's a creative process involved in this which of course we all love um you know i i i've been a dancer throughout but i've never got time to dance but yes these are few places platforms where in probably again i i go back to my dancing stuff and i think that you know ha chalo uh, i can put up few uh, videos so ye kuch pros to hai cons to hai theek hai wo alag baat hai but uh, yeah there are more pros than uh, cons um also with it uh, another uh, thing which is the business aspect of it because we all know that people how people are making money out of this social media you know uh, so Yes there are so many collaborations uh, which are happening right now mm. uh, if you're on social media if you have uh, proper followers i have never been so serious about it mai to ye matlab 
ऑफ लेट आई हैव बीन लाइक अच्छा ठीक है चलो अच्छा थोड़ा बहुत कर लेते हैं इंस्टाग्राम बिकॉज आई एम सो लेजी अबाउट दिस बट यस देयर आर सो मेनी ऑप्शंस देयर आर सो मेनी कोलैबोरेशंस हैपनिंग राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव फॉलोअर्स एंड देयर आर ब्रांड्स अप्रोचिंग इफ यू आर एन इन्फ्लुएंसर इफ यू आर अ ब्लॉगर इफ यू आर अ मेकअप आर्टिस्ट इफ यू आर रेडियो जॉकी या सो देयर आर मोर प्रोज देन कॉन्स आई मस्ट से some uh, very nowadays uh, before it was used to be like this all the rjs were used to doing the analysis of web series movies but you are someone who is constantly doing those reviews or uh, saying about some new web series or movie so do you watch them thoroughly whenever they come on like breath you have recently i have seen a post of breath that you have put on and the local movies as well so do you uh, cover yeah, all yeah, those yeah yeah See, I I do a show. My show is basically um, revolving around the Tollywood. Tollywood is our industry. Yeah, Bengali, Bengali industry. Ko Tollywood yeah. bolte hain. I heard that uh, South me bhi ek industry hai. Telugu, Telugu, Telugu industry. Telugu na, Telugu industry. Right, right, right. So yeah. Now the thing is, I do my reviews also along with my my other colleagues. And yes, of course, I have to. That is my a, a part of my job. i have to watch uh, the movie or the uh, brand new show on the ott platform before i give out the review because mm-hmm. again there comes the responsibilities because aapka review sunke shayad shayad aur paanch log uh, they will decide ki hum jayenge ya nahi jayenge so uh, uh, even though we always say that yaar yeah, review sunke mat jao apna mm-hmm. man kar raha hai uh, so film ko dekh but or yeah show show ko dekh so just go on. ahead with it but don't review so in case you should not judge a show or a film but this is our job of course it comes with the package that ki if you're doing a review you have to watch uh, the show uh, or the film and then do the review and that is your perspective that is also your perspective but also let me tell you there also uh, tie ups with certain films and certain shows mm. and you understand how it works Uh, I usually ask the RJs that what their favorite celeb interaction is, how which they remember. I will go get onto it a later on, but I would definitely like to talk about two people that you have met personally. Uh, starting off would be Asha ji, Asha Bhosle you have met. So tell us about the experience that you had with her. Uh, this was one experience, and I really thank you for asking me this. Um, so. Uh, So I also do a lot of anchoring, emceeing, uh, mm-hmm. you know, corporate shows, entertainment shows, and I am very fortunate that I I have uh, I got to travel different uh, cities and countries uh, for for the same. Uh, so yeah, this was um, I think yeah, this was a R D Burman uh, evening, right. and it it was it was held in Dubai, and uh, yeah, and Asha ji, Asha Bhosle uh, was the uh, chief guest. so first of all i was like i was at a loss of words you know when i when i met her because of course i mean she is a legend and i was like kya kya puchu main you know i have been done interviews with so many people celebrities stars actors superstars but with asha ji i didn't know what to ask and what would be the right question to ask and i was not there for an interview i was just the host and we were in the green room बट मेरे मन में वही चल रहा था कि यार दिस इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी आई शुड आस्क हर समाउन टू अर्थ हम्बल पर्सन एंड एज इफ यू नो आशा ताई बोलते हैं इसीलिए शायद एज इफ शी वॉज माई रिलेटिव माई चाची माई वो आई डोंट नो आई मीन शी गिव मी such a warm so much of warm and just before the show uh, she told me that yaad kar liya tumhe yaad kar liya nam ji and because i was like very nervous with my lines i was constantly like reading my lines and i was like acha chalo picture bhi lena hai itna kuch chal raha tha mera man mein picture bhi lena acha kya puchna hai wo bhi chal raha tha because i didn't want to lose that opportunity but she told me 
ए सुन याद कर लिया तूने आई विल रिमेम्बर दिस आई से हाँ हाँ मैम क्या मैम नहीं हाँ आशा था या या बट यस एंड आई आई टुक दिस पिक्चर एंड यू नो वाइल आई वॉज आस्किंग हर दैट मैम कैन आई टेक अ पिक्चर विथ यू शी सेड ऑफ कोर्स एंड आई वॉज मैं थोड़ी ना दूर खड़ी थी बट शी टोल्ड मी दैट अरे यहाँ बैठ सो शी वॉज सिटिंग ऑन द सोफा and if you see the picture as mm. as just right there at the back on the sofa handle so you know so that that was a moment yeah and uh, yes and watching her uh, live and you know watching her uh, sing you know absolutely live in front of mm. the some audience and yeah that gave me goosebumps and that was definitely one of uh my dreams which came true and thanks to my radio my my career for that so and the second person that i want to talk is uh, that you met a god uh, the offside god of cricket saurav ganguly uh, when you talk about bengal you always deal with rasgulla and ganguly yeah so <laughs> you met him a couple of time i think i have seen two or three yeah, photos of yeah. yours tell us about that as well uh see he is again um, so we call him dada we right. all do and uh, so he's like a dada only i mean so i was very fortunate to have hosted a few shows and i've shared the uh, stage with him mm-hmm. and um, and he he is like very inspiring you know whenever you on stage also he is like ha ah, very good ha huh? all the best bhalo kore chis tu so you have improved from the last time he says that and uh you know that that gives you so much of motivation i mean i mean i mean he he why would he even care to see that i mean uh and of course uh, as far as what field i mean his field is concerned cricket is concerned i mean goes without saying like you mentioned that he is the god and whatever interest i have for cricket whatever love i have for cricket is because of dada अभी शायद विराट कोहली के लिए हुआ है बट ठीक है बट बिफोर इट इट हेज ऑलवेज बीन दादा एंड वी ऑलवेज टू बी दादा एंड यू नो वेन एवर ऑल्सो यादर थिंग दैट इन लाइफ देर आर अप्स एंड डाउन एंड देर आर फेजेस दैट वी ऑल गो थ्रू देर आर लोज देर आर हाईज बट ड्यूरिंग लोज आई थिंक यू नो दादा इज एन एग्जाम्पल अबाउट होम we all can think of you know i mean how he came back and back with a bang and uh, you know uh har ke jeetne walon ko bazigar kehte hain that is the example you know that he is he is the living example so yes i draw a lot of motivation and inspiration from this gentleman and and right. we all love dada yes yeah so he is dada now he is dada of indian cricket as well the president of bcci as well so He is becoming yeah. Dada. He is carrying forward that legacy of his own. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, as you talk about cricket, so you have very love for cricket, a lot of love for cricket as well. I have seen you doing IPL analysis as well, uh, with uh, I think on channels as well with Rohan Gavaskar. I have yeah. seen your videos as well. Tell yes. us about that. Your love for cricket, the IPL. So, as... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so I always uh, wanted to uh, so. my role model was also mandira bedi and i loved her when oh. she used to do the hosting yeah uh, and she, uh, i think she was more famous uh, than her you know noodle strap <laughs> that gave her more popularity but that's not true she is a very very intelligent smart lady and she's a super uh, performer super host yeah and uh, i really i really loved her and uh, she was a role model so um unko dekh ke na mere ko bahut hi ichha thi ki yaar kabhi mauka mile to i will i will do some sports uh, anchoring also but uh, yeah but uh, for the longest time i didn't have any opportunity but yeah i think 3 years ya yeah, 4 years back again i have to thank my organization fever 104 fm Uh, that uh, you know they gave me an opportunity that uh, why don't you because we had the tie up and they told me that would you be interested to do this and i mean yeah i mean why not but i was also a little nervous because uh, not that i was like mere ko sab kuch pata hai cricket ke bare mein uh, you know to be very honest and candid but you know uh, 
काम में रह के ना काम काम को समझना hmm. ये ये भी पॉसिबल है वो विच इज समथिंग आई रियलाइज यू नो वाइल यूर एट इट वाइल यूर डूइंग वाइल यूर ऑन ग्राउंड ऑन द प्रैक्टिकल लेवल यू ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स यू ऑल्सो डिवेलप इंटरेस्ट यू ऑल्सो लर्न अ लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स सो यू नो वाइल आई गॉट वेन आई गॉट दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड वाइल आई वॉज डूइंग माई जॉब वाइल आई वॉज पोस्टिंग बिकॉज एक तो है कुछ ज्यादा डिफिकल्ट नहीं टू बी ऑनेस्ट बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट बहुत ही शैलो नॉलेज होने से चलेगा वो वो नहीं है सो यू हैव टू हैव नॉलेज बट वाइल आई वॉज डूइंग द शो आई 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 गैदर्ड अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन आई आई डिवेलप द लॉर्ड ऑफ इंटरेस्ट फॉर द स्पॉट एंड आई लर्न द लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड देर वॉज ऑल्सो वेरी स्मार्ट एंड टैलेंटेड host uh, from i think from lucknow uh, and and he used to travel uh, all across and uh, you know he told me that yeah you you are good so aap karte reho don't give up and uh, yeah just just be there hang in there so yeah so from there i i and i wish uh, to do a lot more with it mm. because i have not really explored that uh, that uh, arena and i really wish that maybe i'll i'll have more opportunities Uh, down the line. Probably, surely you, you will have because you. I have seen some of your videos and it really shows that whatever understanding that you have, that you have got gained a lot of knowledge. I say, na you when you are in an environment, you get the knowledge itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you have met so many celebrities till now from Tollywood, from Bollywood, local celebrities as well. So tell us. one conversation that you just remember okay this is the conversation i will never forget it we had so much fun and you know, i have enjoyed this one celebrity that you met and you said okay i will remember it forever the conversation that you had a uh, very difficult yeah. <laughs> but um, see i tell you see the conversations with uh, different people have been different mm-hmm. uh, i have different memories and with each i have very special memories and i'll remember uh, those conversations um you know there is a probably a list of 10 people i would like to say so um to cut it short uh, one person i would just uh, thoda sa mai twist deti hu aapka question ko ki one person i always enjoy talking to and uh, the conversation is like really deep and uh, a, a very evolved conversation is uh, with our uh, we call him our industry the industry proshanjit chatterjee he is also a national actor he has also done the hindi movies as well mm-hmm. uh, shanghai mein imran hashmi ke sath bhi unhone right, kaam kiya right. so yeah so with proshanjit chatterjee uh, you know he has been in this industry for the longest time and he is a very senior person but he is a evergreen hero you know he is still a very young boy he has all the boyish charms and he is a go getter he is a workaholic and he uh, treats me as a very loved person and uh, you know the kind of knowledge he has and kind of uh, passion he has for cinema uh, mm. gives you a lot of uh, motivation and uh, you know tells you probably that jo bhi aapko karna hai wo aapko dil se karna hai agar aap mm. dil se koi kaam nahi karte ho you should leave it there you know it should maybe do something else or think of doing something else so uh, with uh, this man every time when we go on air it has been very special and it has been a super hit conversation amongst the listeners also so yeah sanjeev so is a he has a huge fan following and also you know abhi lately he is a fabulous speaker as well mm-hmm. you know like i said with with age with time you also go uh, grow wise and uh, you also become a better orator better speaker so yes with proshan chatterjee it has actually has happened like that and i have seen i have been interviewing him uh, since the time i have joined the radio and uh, i've been very fortunate that you know now she is he is very fond of me and whenever he comes to our station he tells me that acha jinia acha to as in jinia hai na so main jinia ko dene wala interview ha so that he loves all of us all the uh, colleagues all of our colleagues all the other artists but i really i love this attention <laughs> because i have earned this i it it took a long time to earn this with it and uh, yeah i mean it really took a long time uh, um hardships of course and 
that trust also comes now with mm. time and uh, you know when you when you grow uh, with the person let you know be it a, a radio jockey or a listener or a celebrity or a radio jockey this bond also grows with years so yes that's what so prashant ji chatterjee is my answer right right so uh, if if we ask junior that okay you forgot about your rj duties you forgot about everything that you, going around or your the one fun time the thing that you enjoy most when you are alone or you want to do al- alone what is the fun time for you dance dance i i have always been very very passionate about uh, dance but unfortunately you know i had uh, my mom took me to few schools eh hota hai na para mein uh, aap jao acha teacher aaye so yes i was a part of uh, the few such schools but you know uske baad mere ko itne sare mere ko problems thi na ki uh, ya to fir mere ko uh, एम्बियंस अच्छी नहीं लगती है या तो फिर द टीचर वाज नॉट प्रिटी कुछ ना कुछ प्रॉब्लम होती थी इसलिए आई नेवर यू नो कंटिन्यूड एंड देन लेटर ऑन व्हेन आई व्हेन आई रियली वांटेड टू परस्यू डांसिंग आई नेवर गॉट द टाइम बिकॉज़ यू नो आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग वेरी अर्ली आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग व्हेन आई वाज लाइक 20 21 या व्हाटएवर एंड आई आई आल्सो हैड टू फिनिश माय स्टडीज आई वाज डूइंग माय इंग्लिश ऑनर्स एंड देन um uh, parallel parallelly i was also uh, you know first wing uh, as in i was first in english honors and i was doing my job also parallelly and um uske baad bhi i uh, did my mass communication uh, because my mom used to tell me yaar you have to study you can't be a simple graduate main bhi graduate hu aur you know abhi this time you can't be just a simple graduate you have to pursue uh, more you know uh, qualifications studies and ha theek hai chalo so i did my mass come also but is i mean amidst all this mess i just did not get any time to pursue with my passion which is dancing so thoda bahut jab bhi man karta hai jab bhi man hota hai i i just dance ghar mein ya to fir with friends so that's how i kind of make up i'm happy about it i'm okay about it nice so you should and you should put more videos of dancing as well on the platforms <laughs> i will i'll try thank you vidit start up with as you know that we have gone through a very bad phase for the last 2 3 months with all of those things happening around us what lockdown has taught you so i ask you what lockdown has taught you uh well you know what with it, this question even i have been asking to all my my uh, celebs jiske sath bhi main baat kar rahi hu this is a very important question actually um yeah actually this lockdown has taught me a lot of things why i'll tell you because uh firstly i went to some uh, personal uh, uh turmoil uh, also personal uh, problem so uh, so so on top of it there was a, this lockdown was definitely uh, a, was very unsettling for me you know and i was really uh, in a state uh, where i was helpless i i was hopeless i didn't know how to cope up with that but uh, again it really taught me that uh, it is possible i mean um, uh, uh, i think yes everybody would say that time is the best healer but mere ko time hi nahi mila utna to heal mm. uh but i think uh, you know the too many too many bad things too many negative thing negative things happening all around um aur jab main ye sochti hu na ki there are people uh, uh the, you know who are uh, you know far more uh, worst state possible तो मेरे को लगता है यार ठीक है आई मीन आई कैन हैंडल माय प्रेशर्स आई कैन कैन हैंडल माय माय ओन पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम्स सो देयर आर फार मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इश्यूज आउट देयर आर फार मोर इंपॉर्टेंट आई मीन फार मोर बैड थिंग्स हैपनिंग टू पीपल 
Mm. Um, it has learned, uh, I have learned, uh, it has taught me to be more patient. I have learned uh, to be more like a calm person. I used to hate doing workouts, but I have started doing that. <laughs> I was, I'm very lucky to have a few, uh, few of my friends, my childhood friends. So, unko bhi motivation nahi mil rahi thi. Isliye ham log ek saath we have started doing workout through video calls. Can you imagine? Yeah. So, so these are few things, and yes, this has also uh, taught me that you know uh, it is very important to have few people in your life not many because those many people will not uh, be concerned about yeah, you sir, will sir. not ask you or about your family it is that few people now and you have to select with how when you grow when you when you age you have to select that few people uh, that you should be concerned about and also they should care about you so yeah so i'm also very lucky in that perspective and yes um it has it has taught me uh, to be to be happy with whatever little i have and i think this is something which is common for all of us salary cut hui hai hum log ka and i'm still smiling yeah right. <laughs> yeah so that's what so my last question would be the basic idea of my this series jaise aapne pehle bhi bola starting mein humne baat ki ki log bolte hain कि भाई आर जे काम है बोलना है चार घंटे आके बोल के चले जाएंगे ये एक मिथ है जैसे आपने बोला तो ऐसे लोग आज भी बहुत है इंडिया में भी हैं वर्ल्ड में भी हैं आई और लगा में भी उनको अगर आपको एक मैसेज देना हो या उनको समझाना हो कि आर जे क्या होता है तो आप क्या बोलोगे ओके आई थिंक आर जे इज अबाउट कनेक्शन दिल से दिल connection um and that's about it so for which you do not have to blabber you do not have to speak for half an hour for that connection to happen ek line mein bhi na wo connection possible hota hai so that is all about it it is all about connection and that that connection with you and me with my listener and a radio jockey uh, me rj genia it can happen over just one line when i go on air that one line that uh, has a heart to heart connection and maybe that can bring a smile on his or her face so that's it that's that's the most special thing uh, that can happen because radio is uh, called to be the theater of mind so you don't get to see the person you just talk to talk you you hear his or her voice and 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 the magic happens aapko pata hi nahi chalega kab जर्नी absolutely because i have i myself i'm learning a lot from all the rjs that around and uh, you can say that the people don't know more more about more rjs there are some you can yeah. say monopolized rjs that people know or hear their names and they know about them but mm-hmm. i have seen uh, this is my 25th interview with an rj and uh, the talent that the rjs have and i've seen your videos your interactions is so much above my expectation or even an individual expectation we i can relate it to any of the actors even i would say that because they at least have a script which is written by somebody else but you guys have to perform a script written by yourself that's the basic difference yeah, between but... you and so well, i really like the content that all and the for the amount of work that you do be, do before going for an show yeah so that needs a lot of understanding about the vicinity your surroundings what's going to happen the events taking place you yourself doing Thank some you. events it made my day yeah so <laughs> and i always say to all the rjs that in the stuff time especially we talk about corona mm-hmm. warriors yes they have done vastly for us and yeah. 
it will be remembered forever all over the world but in india the amount of negativity that we get sometimes you need to balance that and for that rj is the best medicine that you can have thank you so much yes i i do think that too and uh, good for us if we more people tune tune into our <laughs> station fever one yeah, for a time and uh, and yes, one more thing as you said yourself that you went through a turmoil and then you still today you are laughing even after your salaries have been cut though it might be <laughs> yeah. either on a joke on a lighter side but yeah. still that's what i want people to know yeah yeah, uh, yeah. an actor can take a leave a policeman can take a leave but an rj has to do his duties in whatever mood they are yeah that's true that's true whatever mood we are in i mean it, it doesn't matter when you are in, in in that studio and in front of that microphone you have to cheer up people and there is where the responsibility lies absolutely. so absolutely right you are so it was nice talking to you and really you are same here with it and as i told you that you just put more videos of your dancing and i hope to see those I'll videos in coming time i'll do that for sure and it was nice talking to you ma'am and 